très très grande communauté congolaise de partout dans le monde. Bonjour, bonsoir, bon après-midi. Aujourd'hui, nous avons maman, on a maman, on a la fille. Nous sommes venus pour un conseil. C'est vrai qu'elle parlera en anglais, peut-être un peu de français ou de lingala aussi. Maman parlera dans la langue qu'elle voudra. Je suis, je suis passé dans cette maison il y a longtemps pour donner les conseils. Je reviens encore avec les conseils. Elle, est, elle est venue ici, elle était jeune. Maintenant, là, elle, a, elle va terminer les études. Elle avait l'âge d'aller à l'école, mais elle a voulu d'abord étudier. Voilà, elle, elle s'appelle... Esther. Et maman... Moi, c'est Kalugano. Voilà. Nous venons avec les conseils, parce qu'il y a beaucoup de gens, au lieu d'aller à l'école, ils sont en train de partir travailler. C'est bien travailler. Mais est-ce qu'il faut d'abord commencer par travailler, ou il faut d'abord aller à l'école? Qu'est-ce que tu as fait? Feel free to speak in English. I can translate. Yes. Qu'est-ce que tu as fait? Tu es venu ici à quel âge? Qu'est-ce que tu as fait pour arriver à ce que à maintenant là? Oui. Euh, premièrement, bonjour. Je m'appelle Celle Gano et je vais parler en français, anglais et un peu de lingala. Um, je vais commencer It's en anglais. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I came here when I was eight. Elle est venue quand elle avait huit ans. And um, what helped me to get to where I am today? Ce qui l'a aidé à arriver là où elle est aujourd'hui, c'était le programme ESL. Oui, um, that program has really helped me learn English and that helped me um, do well in middle school and in high school and now in college. Donc ce programme l'a aidé à étudier le français et l'anglais, qui l'a aidé à l'école secondaire, au collège aussi. Yes, and so now I'm at a place where I'm finally graduating. I'm graduating next Saturday. Maintenant, elle est au niveau où elle va maintenant avoir son titre, et plutôt elle va être, euh, elle va avoir sa, sa graduation qui sera la, la semaine prochaine. Yes. So the question is, is it more important to go to school first or have a job first? Maintenant, la question est, est-ce que c'est important de commencer d'abord le boulot ou bien de commencer d'abord euh, les études? I believe that it is firstly important to prioritize school education. Je, je pense que, je crois que c'est important de faire la priorité des études, l'éducation. Why? Because if you prioritize education, you will get to a point where you will get your bachelor's or master's and that degree can help you get a job that is suitable for you. Donc, pourquoi? Parce que si vous commencez par les études, vous pouvez terminer votre licence, vous pouvez terminer votre graduate. Et ça va vous donner un boulot qui vous convient. If you want to wait on school, you're more likely not to get a job that is, I don't know how to say, like convenient or a good paid job. A good paid job, right? You'll probably end up maybe working in warehouses or at the store and just trying to make end meet. Voilà. Donc, si vous commencez par les, les le boulot, vous pouvez terminer. Et vous, vous dites d'abord les études attendent d'abord. Vous pouvez terminer par travailler dans les warehouses, travailler dans des endroits où vous ne serez pas bien payé. So that's why I'm just here to encourage each and every one of my fellow friends, everyone my age, or even if you're older, just to prioritize school. Start taking those two classes. If you want to take those classes and have a part-time job, that's okay. But as long as school is priority, I think that's fine. Donc je veux encourager les gens de mon âge, même les, les, les grandes personnes, de, priorité, de, de mettre la priorité aux études. C'est vrai, vous pouvez peut-être arrêter de prendre seulement deux cours. Non, prenez le, beaucoup de cours, même si vous pouvez avoir un petit travail de temps partiel, c'est bon. Mais mettez la priorité aux études. Yes. Merci. Maman Moseka, je sais que ce n'est pas facile. Il y a Koko Lissabar en états unis Si tu as un niveau, il y a Koza la graduée. Il y a bachelor, n'est-ce pas je crois que Ozan a gradué chez Misa. Tout félicitations. Yeah! Osala qui n'est ni ni pona est comme un niveau haut. Bah sacrifice ni Osala qui passe pas. C'est pas facile hein. Ma moni, ma parents nous battent dans la rue dans la la Misala parce qu'il faut beaucoup d'endroits pour bosser la route. Osala qui n'est ni ni pona est comme un niveau. Dans ce moment, on va voir ma casse comme ça va y avoir Bon, merci beaucoup papa John pour la parole. Et là, on a une coquille qui est en ce qui est le proverbe de Balobi, la qui est en train de se faire, et c'est en train de se faire, et c'est en train de se faire, et c'est en train de se Alors, tu as dit que tu es en train de se faire, et 
Donc c'est sacrifié qui paie le col. Parce que, dans ce qui passe, il y a un peu de la peine de faire la peine de faire la overtime. Mais il y a un peu de sacrifié, il y a un bon délai pour que nous ayons la peine de faire la peine de faire. Au cas où il y a un peu de la peine de faire la peine. Il faut aussi les encourager. Il faut encourager les gens qui ont visité la peine de faire la classe, de faire la peine de faire la sacrifice. Ngamo kolo ba boeta una yaki na mboka o ba na ngaba ba ya ba ki anglais tenga na ba ki mo anglais muke et puis ba ya bi système ya awa te donc ngamo ko to zaki na papa clema chomba nzamba pa mbola ye asombela ki nga dictionnaire donc ce qui ba mo est difficile pour na ngai na ko ke na tangi dictionnaire na zo aider ba ngope na ba devoir jusqu'à ce que ba koma ki capable ya ko sala ba devoir ba ngomo ko donc, il y a des efforts qui sont importants, mais il y a des efforts qui sont Il y a des efforts qui sont importants. 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 Ce qui est déjà dans le papier, dans le licolo. Tant que ça, c'est le même temps 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 que ça, mais le même temps que ça, le même temps que ça, et puis le même temps que ça. Ce qui est le même temps, c'est le même temps que ça, c'est le même temps que ça, c'est le même temps que ça. Mais dans le cas où il y a un bon thé, il faut pas foutre dans le cas où il y a un bon thé. Et c'est la responsabilité de la personne qui est en train de se faire. Donc, il faut faire ça pour que le papa ne soit pas en train de se faire. Il faut faire ça pour que le papa ne soit pas en train de se faire. Il faut faire ça pour que le papa ne soit pas en train de se faire. C'est un bon thé. C'est un bon thé. Mais c'est un village. C'est un village. C'est un village. Il a fait la force. Voilà, je vais dire ceci. Je vais demander à notre invité principal, Esther Frisbee. Le gars de Frisbee. Je vais demander à Esther Frisbee. Le gars de Frisbee. De dire ce que maman a dit en anglais. Oh, wow. Même un peu simplement. Comme ça, vous comprenez qu'elle vient de là. Elle parle Lingala. Oui, ok. Um, so, for those who wanted me to interpret, my mom basically said that when we came to English, she, when we came to America, she also made the effort to be involved in our education. She didn't just let it, us do things on our own. She tried to find ways to help, whether that was buying a dictionary to learn English so she can assist us with our homework, whether that was driving us to um, the library so we can study, whether that was showing up to parent-teacher conference, talking to the teachers and seeing what they needed to help us be successful. Because I, as an educator, I think that um, student success not only depends on the, on the teachers, but also on the parents. We need to work together if we want to see our students, our children succeed. It can't just be placed, oh, the teachers are going to do it. I don't need to do anything. Oh, my students will be fine. They learn this concept at school. No, it takes, like my mom says, it takes a village. We need to work together with the teacher. Parents need to help their children. We can't just leave the kids to do it on their own because a lot of time they're gonna get probably, they won't be motivated, right? So you mm. need to motivate your children, encourage them, right? And also my mom mentioned something about just bills. We shouldn't place that responsibility on our children. Oh, we're gonna buy this big house and we're all gonna work and we're gonna pay for it. No, the priority should be my child. You should go to school. You know, if there's a way for you to help out a little bit that won't interfere with your education, then I will allow you to do so. But don't place a lot of, you know, pressure, pressure. on the kids to go to work right away so they can help you pay the bills. Cause That's, that's just not right. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Je voulais, je voulais que vous écoutiez les parents. Demain, si vous aussi, vous avez les enfants qui terminent, nous viendrons les encourager. Allez aux études, s'il vous plaît. You, you're still young. Just go to school. Go work. Just go. Just go. So, I know that. Let me say thank you so much, Miss Frisbee. Thank you for helping us out. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, did know him Yes. Yeah. That's a very last question I okay. have for you. How it took you? I know that you are going to school, mm -hmm. you go to church, you sometimes coaching people. Mm -hmm. So you have out and married. Have, yes, you married <laughs> as, as a mom, as a wife. Oh, no, no, not no, mom, yes. <laughs> so that's a that's just a, a wife. Point. Just that's a wife. <laughs> your time. So how do you manage your time between your school, church, oh my goodness, so sports, yes. and all those? How oh, do you manage goodness. your time? Um, having a schedule, having a planner, mm. you know, um, I like to keep myself busy. I'm very busy. And one thing that helps me stay organized is buy, I, like, I go to, you can go to Walmart, you can go to Dollar Tree, you can go anywhere and you can buy like, a little planner. So I put down times like, oh, from three to five, I have to do this. From six to this, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go study. I'm going to meet with friends, things like that. So having a schedule is very important. It keeps you organized and it won't keep you, like, it takes away the stress. So, Pablo, let me tell you, you know, tomorrow, if they say, Esther, she's one of the senators. Esther is one of the House members. Oh, you see yeah. how proud the parents will be. And she can't go there. She can get there if she doesn't go to school. Right. So, I encourage you, parents. We should have a community where we have people working in a house, a white house. We should have the people that work in the court. We should have people that work everywhere. Absolutely. We have the same brain. We have the same head. The only thing is take your time to go to school. Mm -hmm. That's our advice. Thank you so much. I will go behind the camera. I will get the person in the camera here too to give advice so that I will stop the video. So I'm going behind the camera. Oh. <laughs> Just advise our community. <laughs> um, I would personally highly encourage going uh, to school. Who are you? Who are oh, you? <laughs> I'm DeAndre Frisbee. This is my wife, Esther Frisbee. And you um, and so I actually have my bachelor's degrees in mechanical engineering um, that I got from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. So I am a, and my parents as well, are very high proponents of getting your education. Um, by getting your education, it gives you a greater uh, span of opportunities as far as the workforce and as far as your personal time as well. Because though school, yes, it is very expensive, but there are several opportunities to help you finance for school. Scholarships. Scholarships, there's grants, and then there's uh, financial, aid. financial aid such as FAFSA that can help you get through school till you're at a place. So can you say yes. that in English or in French? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> French or Lingala? <laughs> oh, yes, Alobi. Oh, I see it there. I think I'm okay on the Alobi. The end of Bandai Kolobaka, class is a little bit expensive, très cher. Très cher, but I see it there that you can't get a class T. Mm. Pour ma opportunité, ils allient. Ma bourse de titre, ils allient. Financial aid, oh, ma bengi fast fa, ils allient. Ceux qui ont appliqué na ma bourse de titre et qui qui confute la haut classe, oh, ils ont bang à qu'ils achètent bourse de titre de fouter les onions, ça peut aussi si classe. So I guess to make it short and sweet, if you really want to help your family out, go to school so that you can get yes, a better job yes. that gives you more time to spend with your family and gives you more financial space, more spine, more financial freedom so that you can help share with your family that may not uh, have been able to get the same education and opportunities that you have while you're here because there are many other countries that don't have the same opportunities of school and education as you do here. There are so many institutions that are here to help you just so you can get a better job. And by getting a better job, it's gonna benefit you, it's gonna benefit your family, it's yeah. gonna benefit you in your free time, it's gonna benefit you mentally as well. Um, it's, there, there's only benefit to be had by going and continuing your education. So I highly, highly encourage it. Thank you. So, if you have a family, you can see that you have a warehouse, you can see that you have a class. If you have a class, you have an opportunity to see that you have a lot of people who are not able to see that you have a service, you have a lot of people who are not able to see that you have a lot of people who are not able to see that you have a selection. Na ba group ya ba na na ba kope sa yombongo tangi tangu kosi sa class ukosa musala moko au ekobandole mbisa yote ukosa na tampo na familia yao 
pe na mbongo o esengeli ekipe na nuyo pe osunga muke libota na yo kende class kende class can you try that kende kende class kende class yeah that that be loud one kende, two three kende, kende class thank you <laughs>